everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today I'm turning this beautiful piece of sycamore. As I'm turning this, you will see this piece reveal itself in this magnificent piece of wood. It has so much characteristics in it. There is a part of this bowl that has a lacy looking pattern. I, I fell in love with it. It's just gorgeous. I am planning a natural edge bowl. It does have some punkiness in the high spots and you could see a little bit of it there. I'm going to address that when the time comes. What I'm going to do instead of waiting on resin to cure, I'm just going to keep adding sanding sealer and let it dry to, to stiffen that up. I don't have anything else in my shop at this point so I'm just going to try sanding sealer. Instead of running out and trying to find something that will do that, I'm just using what I have available. And I know that there's going to be a lot of comments about, well you should have used this, you should have used that. Well I'm using what I have available and that is sanding sealer. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to true up the outside of it. We will get working on the bottom of it to get that tenon established. We will work on the rounding the bottom part up to the sides to get this bowl started to look like a bowl on the outside. And then we will flip it around and work on the inside. I want to touch base with everyone um, that's subscribed to my channel and not subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you that is subscribed to my channel. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I know that in the last 28 days, I was looking at the analytics, and I am at 31% is not subscribed, 53% is subscribed. If I could reach out to the 31.1% of you that is not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate um, you guys giving me a chance. Subscribe to my channel and um, be, you know hit that notification bell so you can come back every week and watch me. I, I want to be able to reach a wider audience, audience and I want you guys to be part of that as well. So if you are new and you watch me weekly and you haven't subscribed, please do that for me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, leave me a comment, let me know if you're new to my channel. That way I can give you a, sh a shout out in the comments and, and welcome you as well. Alright guys, this is normal speed. I wanted to share that with you as well. I will jump back in here in a little bit to kind of let you know what I'm doing with this piece. I really hope you enjoy it. I'm doing a lot of starting and stopping the lathe because I am watching that punkiness that's in the rim of this and also I am really fascinated with the grain pattern in this piece of wood. It is, it's just caught my eye and every every time I take a, a pass I, I think oh maybe it's changed some so I, I, I have to stop and look at it because I am just mesmerized by this piece of wood. I'm gonna make the foot of this bowl a little smaller. I didn't like how wide the bottom of this piece was, so I am just going to fix that, and then once I am done with that and clean up the tenon a little bit, I'll flip it around and I will start working on the inside of this piece. I 
I'm using my parting tool because this rim is so uneven just to kind of mark out a reference point for me to start um, hogging out the inside of this bowl. Now I have been watching some YouTube videos of other wood turners and they've been doing this step um, process to, to take out the material out of their bowl. So I, I've been turning a lot over the weekend and, and this week so I decided, okay, well, I'm going to try that. Well, I tell you what, it saves you a lot of time taking those steps out of the piece versus a long sweeping pass. You're removing a lot more material in a short period of time. And I love that. It really saves on time. Um, also, with the rim part of this bowl being so punky, I was having a lot of um, flake out with it. It was really um, sandy and it just kept falling out. So I had to stop the lathe and add some sanding sealer to it. I'm not gonna share all of it with you because um, I did have to apply the sanding sealer. I think it was around six times to stiffen up this enough. And then I did have to use some of the shavings and Star Bond Medium CA glue to um, fix a little tiny piece that was out of the rim. If you're interested in Star Bond, and you need to stock up or you just like to try you, you want to try star bond i could save you 10 percent off all you have to do is click that video description below find the link for star bond and enter coupon code beecher10 now with that coupon code i was good i got on my star bond affiliate link and they have this um this is the email that they gave me with the beecher10 and then if I get on my Star Bond affiliate link, they are showing a different um, code. And it's T Beecher. And I don't know which one works and which one doesn't. Um, so I'm going to get a hold of Star Bond. So at this point, I've been saying Beecher 10. Just use that one, and I will contact Star Bond to find out exactly what my code is because. I know that the guy that I was that my husband is communicating with um, in emails, he is no longer working with Starbond, and he gave that code. But on my affiliate link, it's showing a completely different code. So um, I hope that code's working. I hope you guys are saving, you know, ten percent off. That would that would really hurt me if you guys wasn't able to save a little bit of money. So I will make sure that I get in touch with Starbond to find that out to make sure that the savings is there for you to use. Um, I'm just going to finish up the bottom part of this bowl. I'm going to make sure I can get it as evenly as possible because like I said it is very wet yet. It is 28% moisture and as I'm turning this I can feel the mist of wetness coming and hitting me in my shield and on my, my hands and stuff. So um, I definitely want this to be as even as possible so that way it dries evenly. Alright I will jump back in here in a little while to kind of let you know what I'm doing with my finish. I started sanding at 80 grit and went through all the grits clear up to 400. Now with the sanding process on this, I sanded from 80 to 120 and then I applied sanding sealer, let it dry completely for this punky spot. Then I sanded it up to 220, added more sanding sealer, let it dry completely, sanded it, and then I went through, I went to 320 and then 400. I applied, before my finish, I applied three coats of sanding sealer. In between each of these coats, I denibbed it with a scotch brake pad, and then I followed up with my finish. Now, I, I was happy with the rim of this, but I decided to go ahead and, and torch it. Um, I did make sure that I had a fire extinguisher available and a bucket of water. If you are going to torch anything on your wood pieces, Please make sure that you have all your shavings removed, water, and a fire extinguisher so that way you know you're safe. You don't want to burn down your shop trying to make a beautiful piece. So that's very important to have that 
with you. Now I did sand back the rim because I didn't like the darkness. I like the patchy look of the rim. And then after I was done with all that, I blew it off with the air hose and then wiped it back with denatured alcohol before I applied my first coat of sanding sealer. Now I did apply a total of three coats of sanding sealer. I let each coat dry completely. I wiped it back with a, I denibbed it with a scotch bright pad in between each of those coats and then once I was done with my third coat and it was dry I was able to apply the axe abrasive sanding paste to this that's my finish it I tell you what I am getting such great results with the axe product if you use it like the directions say to use it you're going to get this amazing finish. I am accomplishing these glass-like finishes with this. And I'm telling you what, I get compliments on it all the time. Like people can't believe the way the finish feels on these pieces. That's how well this finish works. So if you are interested in Axe and you would like to save money, I could save you 15% off. All you have to do is enter the coupon code TANYA15 at checkout. You will find that link in the video description below. Guys, we are at the end of this video. There is glam shots at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give me that like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos. I will see all of you guys next week. Until then, goodbye.